The King's Avatar, Chapter 1620 Trapped, Audio Source, Wushar World Audiobook.com. Chapter 1620, Trapped. Translator, Nomiyami Editor, Nomiyami. The space between the two storerooms was so narrow that it could hardly be considered a path. It was more apt to describe it as a crack between two storerooms. In this crack, there was only forward and backwards. There was no left or right. Lu Boyuan's chaotic cloudy mountain blocked the rear, while Dooming's moon luring frost's downwind sword slash blocked the front. Under the shadow of the cold light boundless sea didn't seem like he had anywhere to run to. At least, that was what everyone thought. The only one who disagreed was Fang Rui himself. The fierce sword light was dazzling, but it didn't steal away his calm. He had already decided that he would break through from moon luring frost's end. There was no room for hesitation. Sword light flooded his vision, but he saw a tiny opening where there was no sword light. He didn't know if he could make it through, but he didn't have any other choice. Charge. Boundless sea continued to sprint. The moment the sword light descended, he dove forward. Fang Rui didn't roll. Instead, he put himself parallel to the ground and borrowed the momentum from the dive to slide forward. Fang Rui had pressed Boundless Sea as low to the ground as possible. He couldn't go any lower. Can he dodge it? Du Ming was confident in his attack. Even if Boundless Sea was laying flat, he didn't think his attack would miss. But when the sword light came down, Du Ming suddenly discovered that he might be wrong. His downwind sword slash had a tiny opening. Was it because she hadn't executed it perfectly enough? Spiral Chi Kill. Boundless C was still flat on the ground when he fired a blast of Chi. Moon Luring Frost was still in the air. The spiraling Chi struck his two legs. Bang. Moon Luring Frost was flung to the side. His head slammed into the wall. The crawling Boundless C jumped up, his hand placed on Moon Luring Frost's shoulder. Grab, twist, throw, fling. Moon Luring Frost shot towards chaotic cloudy mountain like an artillery shell. Du Ming was at a loss. He didn't know how his downwind sword slash had missed until he was thrown. As he flew through the air, he looked at the ground and noticed that the place where Boundless Sea had doved towards was very distinct. The ground there was sunken down. This was just a crack between two storerooms. No one was going to do any maintenance here. As a result, the ground was bumpy. In that instant, Fang Rui had noticed a depression in the ground in front of him. He saw it as a potential safe area and doved towards it. The slightest difference determined life and death, and it was what allowed Boundless Sea to dodge the downwind sword slash. That's the reason. Du Ming had no choice but to accept it. He hadn't noticed it. When he used downwind sword slash, he hadn't thought that the bumps would create holes in his attack. Moon Luring Frost flew towards Chaotic Cloudy Mountain. Fang Rui had obviously planned for the two to collide. But Chaotic Cloudy Mountain didn't retreat. His arms trembled, reinforced iron bones. Bang! Moon Luring Frost crashed into Chaotic Cloudy Mountain. However, due to the super armor, Chaotic Cloudy Mountain didn't budge. Moon Luring Frost fell to the ground, while Chaotic Cloudy Mountain jumped over him and continued forward. Lu Boyuan's reaction looked merciless, but the spectating pro players knew that wasn't the case. Since Moon Luring Frost wasn't able to block Boundless Sea, a reversal had happened. The crack was too narrow. Even if Simsara had two people, without a pincer, the two of them were no different than one person. Both were close-range classes. They couldn't attack at the same time in this narrow path. As for Fang Rui's Boundless Sea, after breaking past Simsara's pincer attack, he was no longer in danger. On the contrary, this narrow terrain was extremely favorable for his Chi Master. 
Chi master attacks were AOE attacks. If he let out Chi attacks in this alleyway, how was the other side going to dodge them? Lu Boyuan had thought of this point, which is why he didn't have time to slow down. Chaotic Cloudy Mountain activated reinforced iron bones, knocking Moon Luring Frost away so he could immediately launch his attacks. Sure enough, Fang Rui's boundless sea had started gathering qi, but Lu Boyuan's extremely quick response had caught to him off guard. The moon luring frost that he had thrown at him unexpectedly wasn't able to slow him down. There was time for him to finish using the skill that he had been casting. However, chaotic cloudy mountains had activated reinforced iron bones and now had super armor. His chi attacks would push him. All Lu Bo Yuan need to do was tank the attack, and chaotic cloudy mountains would close the distance with boundless sea. Then, he could use any grab skill he wanted, and boundless sea would be caught in a pincer again. No matter how reluctant he might be, Fang Rui's only choice was to give up on this attack. Boundless sea cancelled the skill. He activated Cloud Body and then turned and ran. Chaotic Cloudy Mountain stopped. He raised his two hands and grabbed the air. Cloud Grasping Fist. The skill that Lu Bo Yuan had chosen had truly been put to great effect today. In the group arena, he had caught Su Muchung off guard with the sudden long-range grab, although he wasn't able to fully take advantage of it. This time, in this narrow alleyway, Cloud Grasping Fist seemed to be very difficult to dodge. If Boundless Sea was grabbed, he would meet his end. Fuck. Fang Rui kept looking back as he ran away. When he saw the Cloud Grasping Fist from Chaotic Cloudy Mountain, he suddenly panicked. Cloud Grasping Fist was a Chi Master skill, so Fang Rui was very familiar with it. But because he was familiar with the skill, he knew that dodging it in this terrain would be extremely difficult. Crouch. Roll. In this narrow passageway, none of those would work. The only area with enough space to dodge the cloud grasping fist was above him. But there was only so much he could control while in the air, far from the control his opponent had with the skill. But even so, what other choice did he have? Boundless Sea stopped and turned around. To dodge this cloud grasping fist, he would need to time it perfectly and be extremely precise with his movements. Fang Rui didn't think he would be able to do it while running and looking back. By this time, Moon Luring Frost had gotten back up from the ground. Fang Rui had no energy to spare for him. His gaze was fixed on Chaotic Cloudy Mountain's two hands. Because Chaotic Cloudy Mountain was a grappler, the equipment that he wore wouldn't have the preferred stats for a Chi Master. His Cloud Grasping Fist would take longer to gather up the required Chi. However Fang Rui wasn't trying to predict when the attack would come. He was locked onto the movements of his hands. It's coming. Chaotic Cloudy Mountain's ten fingers tightened. His two hands made a clear pulling motion. Fang Rui jumped into the air. But Lu Boyuan had predicted that Fang Rui would jump. His two hands shifted up slightly. From the start of the move until it landed, Cloud Grasping Fist could be controlled by the player. This was one of the reasons for why it was so hard to dodge under these circumstances. Boundless Sea pushed out with his palm, Cloud pushing palm. Pa! He hit the wall. Boundless Sea immediately dropped towards the ground. He curled into a ball and then laid himself flat to the ground. Fang Rui was like a fish in the water. He had no reserves about how shameful it might look for him. The jump had been a feint. He wanted Lu Bo Yuan to move up. Fang Rui's true goal was the ground. Boundless Sea hastily tried to make adjustments. Chaotic Cloudy Mountain's two hands pressed down. But it was too late. The Chi was only able to rustle the top of his hair. Apart from that, it wasn't able to grasp onto Boundless Sea. Ha! Fang Rui was overjoyed. 
His dodge had been shrewd and technical. He felt like he was a genius. WashRWorldAudio.com I might only be a supporting character, but don't think I'm easy pickings. Quote. He boasted. Everyone was baffled. Where'd that come from? Du Ming's moon luring frost jumped onto the roof of a rather short storeroom. Even though it wasn't a tall one, it wasn't possible to get onto it with a normal jump. Du Ming's moon luring frost jumped and then jumped again off the wall. He followed with a rising dragon slash in order to get to the right height. Colliding stab. Triple slash. Moon luring frost didn't hold back and used his movement skills. Fang Rui had been delayed a bit in order to dodge the cloud grasping fist. The increase in movement speed from cloud body wasn't as explosive as his movement skills. By charring these two skills, Moon Luring Frost was already in front of Boundless Sea. He stepped out and then twisted his body while in the air. He fell towards the ground, his blade descending. This time, he made sure to take note of the terrain. He wouldn't let Fang Rui get through because of neglect on his part. Falling Phoenix Slash. Sword Light descended. This time, Fang Rui had nowhere to run to. Helpless, Fang Rui could only have Boundless Sea put up a Qi Wave Shield to reduce the damage. Behind him, Chaotic Cloudy Mountain was closing in. Moon Luring Frost's sword had cut off his path forward. Despite a few complications, Fang Rui wasn't able to escape from their pincer. Suddenly, an enormous explosion sounded. Fireworks seemed to burst forth from the falling Moon Luring Frost. The flames engulfed to him, and the resplendent sword light lost its luster. Yes, Sis Mew. Perfect timing. I love you. Fang Rui was practically incoherent from his excitement. Just when it looked like his life was over, Dancing Rain arrived. Fang Rui almost wanted to cry out how perfect the timing was. Charge. Su Mu Chung didn't have time to share his joy and reminded him. Fang Rui put away the roller coaster of emotions he had experienced. Boundless Sea ran for his life. Moon Luring Frost had been blasted out of the air. His downwind sword slash had been interrupted, and his balance had been broken. Even so, Du Ming was able to get a sword slash out. Unfortunately, it had been too forced. Boundless Sea was able to dodge it with ease. Not good. From behind, Lu Bo Yuan had no choice but to re-examine their situation. It had originally been a 2v1. Through the terrain, the two thought they could easily take care of Fang Rui's boundless sea. But they hadn't expected him to be so slippery. To think he could find a way out from such a dire situation. Now, his backup had arrived. A Qi master in a launcher. He and Du Ming had practically no room to dodge their attacks. How were they supposed to fight against them? This time, the ones trapped was Simsara, and chapter The King's Avatar, chapter 1621 Would it kill you to let me look cool for a bit? Audio source, wushaworldaudiobook.com Chapter 1621, Would it kill you to let me look cool for a bit? Translator, no yummy editor, no yummy. This match, Samsara's home game, it seems, it seems. Pan Lin thought carefully about he should word things but wasn't able to find the right words in the end. In reality, he didn't need to explain anything. Most of the viewers had the same feeling as him. This was Samsara's home game. Samsara had chosen this map. They should be the ones taking advantage of the terrain. It was supposed to be their biggest weapon. But the result. What everyone saw was Yishu taking advantage of the trash room to stall three of Samsara's players. On the other end, at this alleyway, Samsara's two players were supposed to pincer and trap Fang Rui, but in the blink of an eye, the situation was flipped. How did everything turn out this way? No one could think of an answer. Samsara hadn't underestimated their enemy. 
They had sent three players to the trash room to deal with one issue. How could that be underestimating the enemy? At the alleyway, when chaotic cloudy mountain and moon luring frost formed a pincer onto boundless sea, everyone thought that it was hopeless for Fang Rui. But Fang Rui had other ideas. He had danced around them, staying alive until dancing rain arrived. This couldn't be considered a mistake from Samsara. Fang Rui was playing incredibly well. A great performance happened when you made outstanding plays in unordinary situations. Samsara's ambush had been set up meticulously. They had started by checking their surroundings through the windows. After noticing Dancing Rain's movements, they thought of this plan. Then, Fang Ming was laughing, Song went to switch with Du Ming's moon luring frost. When Fang Rui's boundless sea appeared, the two didn't act too hastily. They patiently waited for Fang Rui to go in deeper and for Su Muchung to move farther away. Every detail had been considered by Samsara. Every part of the plan had been executed well. Even so, they had failed to trap Fang Rui and inflict heavy injuries onto him like they had liked. Now, they were the ones in a dangerous position. Retreat. Lu Boyuan said decisively. Rushing forward was an option. However, the terrain wasn't favorable for them. Rushing through attacks from Fang Rui and Su Muchung was too risky. Lu Boyuan hadn't forgotten that Happy didn't only have Fang Rui's Qi Master and Su Muchung's launcher. There was also the threat of Chao Yifan's Phantom Demon Ghost Blade. Maybe he was waiting at the exit at the front. If they successfully made their way out from the alleyway, they would instantly be enveloped by multiple ghost boundaries. As a result, they could only retreat. They had to retreat. Lu Boyuan didn't say anything. He had chaotic cloudy mountain turn around and run, while paying attention to moon luring frost situation up AEAD. Moon luring frost had been shot out of the air by dancing rain. As he fell, Boundless Sea flitted past him with his head turned back. From the looks of it, he planned on looting from a burning house. Lu Boyuan need to make sure that Moon Luring Frost could run away, so that Du Ming wouldn't need to be rescued. Sure enough Boundless Sea stopped. He was a dirty Chi master, who loved to be sneaky. But at this moment, he was making a huge show, gathering Chi around his two palms. Lu Boyuan resisted the urge to charge at him because he knew that Boundless Sea was situated outside both his and Moon Luring Frost's attack range. That was why Boundless Sea was so fearless. That bastard, Fang Rui, was too infuriating. It was like he was purposefully trying to annoy them. Dragon Wave. Boundless Sea made his move. The gathered Chi transformed into a dragon, which flew out towards his two enemies. Moon Luring Frost had just landed on the ground. Dooming saw the warning from Lu Boyuan and rolled back. By the time he got up, the dragon wave was roaring towards him. Du Ming didn't even think. He immediately had Moon Luring Frost jump towards the wall and then jump again. Unfortunately, Rising Dragon Slash had just been used and was still on cooldown. Du Ming had no way of using the same method to send Moon Luring Frost onto the rooftop. The double jump was just to avoid the attack for as long as he could. Dragon Wave could be controlled by the user. Du Ming didn't think he could actually dodge it fully. But with this jump, Fang Rui would need to focus on him so that he could aim his Dragon Wave properly. That would at least buy some time for Lu Boy Yuan. The two players on Samsara hadn't forgotten to take care of each other. Lu Boy Yuan didn't have Chaotic Cloudy Mountain and leave first. He made sure that Du Ming could also escape. As for Du Ming, he was using his character's position to help Lu Boy Yuan escape. If Lu Boy Yuan didn't have Chaotic Cloudy Mountain run away, then he would be wasting Du Ming's kindness. There was no time to think about all that though. Chaotic Cloudy Mountain turned around and sprinted away. Boom. An explosion from behind him. Chaotic Cloudy Mountain's footsteps didn't stop. He looked behind him and saw that Moon Luring Frost had been shot by Dancing Rain again. Du Ming hadn't forgotten about Su Muchung's presence. He had predicted that Dancing Rain's attacks wouldn't stop. 
but in this narrow alleyway there really wasn't anywhere for him to run to. Dooming had Moon Luring Frost swing his sword at the missile, but the explosion still hurt him. Moon Luring Frost lost his balance again, with smoke coming off from him as he fell. Then, Boundless Sea's dragon wave swallowed him whole. Lu Boy Yuan felt terrible. He wanted Chaotic Cloudy Mountain to turn back, so that he and Du Ming could fend them off together. But he knew very well that doing so would be unwise. He was abandoning Du Ming, but this was because he had no other choice. Their goal was to win, and winning depended on the entire team. As long as one person stood at the end, they would be the winners. For the win, to remain as the champions. Lu Boy Yuan brainwashed himself, constantly repeating these words to himself. He didn't have Chaotic Cloudy Mountain turn his head back, instead using all his might to run away. He hated his decision, but he trusted that his decision was correct. He wasn't playing just for himself. He couldn't make decisions based on his own likes. Every one of them was carrying the burden of the dreams of the entire team and countless fans. Ahead is the exit. Keep going. Chaotic Cloudy Mountain rushed out from the alleyway. Only then did he turn his head back. Even though everything about Du Ming's situation pointed to disaster, Lu Boi Yuan still felt hope for him, hope that Du Ming could catch up to him. But no. Moon Luring Frost was far behind him. Fire and light flashed again and again. Endless chi mixed in with the explosions. Moon Luring Frost's sword light glinted tenaciously. Again, Lu Boi Yuan resisted the urge to turn back. But, you can do it, Du Ming typed out in the team chat. He was the one fighting. He was the one who was trying to escape, but Du Ming was the one encouraging him. Lu Boi Yuan couldn't keep watching, afraid that he wouldn't be able to resist his urges any longer. WuxiaWorldAudio.com Chaotic Cloudy Mountain turned around and immediately rushed towards the support zone. Seeing Chaotic Cloudy Mountain and Leaf Du Ming felt at ease. Moon Luring Frost was hit by a blast again. Du Ming tried his best to stabilize the situation, but the attack disrupted his efforts. Moon Luring Frost tumbled to the ground. How embarrassing. Du Ming laughed bitterly. He had been hoping to put on an outstanding performance, especially in this match against Happy. But it looks like this was it. To the left was a wall. To the right was a wall. He couldn't use many of his skills. As for charging towards them in a straight line, as long as his opponents maintained a certain distance away from him, he posed no threat. The two unhappy were too experienced. They were carefully taking advantage of the terrain. Chi Masters and Launchers didn't have a lot of strong CC abilities. As a result, the two didn't intend on pinning Moon Luring Frost down. The two were doing their utmost to deal as much damage to Moon Luring Frost. If it happened to work out, then they would also try to make it hard for Moon Luring Frost to move around. I won't make it. His health was dropping fast, and there was still quite a way to go before he could leave. Du Ming was already certain that he would die before he escaped. I'll cheer up my teammate first. As for me, I'll just have to contribute as much as I can to our win. Moon Luring Frost suddenly rolled backwards. Instead of moving to the exit, he went for Boundless Sea. Feng Rui immediately had Boundless Sea retreat, while sending out a cloud pushing palm. Jump. Moon Luring Frost got up and jumped, but soon, he heard the sound of a cannon shot. Falling Light Blade. Moon Luring Frost dropped down, the artillery shell whistling past his head. Falling Blossom Form. This level 75 skill had extremely high priority in the air and had a knockdown effect. Du Ming was using it to get down. Sword petals filled the air, preparing to cut down Boundless Sea. But Boundless Sea simply retreated in an extremely dirty manner too, dodging this attack. Would it kill you to let me look cool for a bit? Du Ming cursed at Fang Rui. He was obviously unhappy that his attack had missed. I'm almost dead. Can't you just let me leave a good impression with one final display of might? What's cooler than dying at my hands? Fang Rui responded slickly. 
boundless sea pulled back his hands and then pushed out. Air and palm. Chi condensed into the shape of a handprint. With a paw it struck moon luring frost, stunning him. Flash burst. Feng Rui wasn't polite at all. Seeing how close they were, he immediately let out a high-level skill. The chi couldn't expand in this narrow alleyway. It could only burst forth in what little space there was. After flash burst came Qigong Blast. Qi filled the alleyway, turning the entire area hazy. Dancing Rain's artillery support came down in coordination with Fang Rui's assault. Dot. Fuck Du Ming couldn't help but leave a profanity in the chat. Along with a yellow card from the referee, he left the field, and chapter. The King's Avatar, Chapter 1622 Cruel Hand Speed, Audio Source, WuxiaWorldAudiobook.com Chapter 1622, Cruel Hand Speed Translator, Gnome Yummy Editor, Gnome Yummy T-L-N-O-T-E, I accidentally skipped a chapter. I fixed it and uploaded the previous chapter. The moment Du Ming left the battlefield, the stadium erupted with wild cheers. The cheers came from the away team stands. The happy fans that had followed the team to their away game couldn't contend against Simsara's fans. If you weren't listening carefully enough, it was almost impossible to hear the shouts and cheers for happy. However, despite their feeble existence, the happy fans never gave in. They were doing their best to cheer for their team. Too many people had scoffed at the thought of happy reaching this step. Some of them even thought of Happy making their way to the finals was a lucky fluke. Losing to Simsara would be a glorious end to their season. But the Happy fans that had followed their team to Simsara's home stadium disagreed. They had come to cheer on their team despite the overwhelming opposition because they thought that there was glory in defeat. What they wanted was for Happy to win, to become the newly crowned champions. Even if others might laugh at them for overestimating themselves, their thirst for victory wouldn't waver. No matter how weak the team was, all of them dreamed of becoming the champions. Happy had struggled their way through the season. Glory and defeat. A glorious end? They didn't need any of that. They wanted to win. Only by winning and becoming the champions would they be satisfied. This was why Happy absolutely could not lose this match. It was their final chance. But no matter how determined they may be, they knew that today's match would be extremely challenging. Happy was playing in their away game, and their opponents had a one-game lead. Happy carried an enormous amount of pressure going in. A lot of people might have forgotten about this aspect. In their eyes, there was no pressure for Happy because losing was normal. Happy shouldn't have any hopes of winning. But reality trumped rhetoric. Happy was showing everyone that their efforts weren't just a welcome defeat. Despite being on the back foot, they were still aiming to win. Two-point lead in the group arena. One person lead in the team competition. It didn't matter what had lead to this situation. It didn't matter what the outcome of this match was. Right now, how stimulating. Happy's performance was too stimulating. Happy's fans felt like they had been injected with drugs, especially the ones cheering from the stadium. The noise that they made was a challenge to the devilish home crowd. So what if we don't have as many people as you guys? We're winning. We have a huge three-point lead. From a match perspective, Happy's lead was enough to leave their opponents speechless, especially after killing off Du Ming's moon-luring frost with such ease. Su Muchung's dancing rain had taken zero damage, and the damage that Fang Rui's boundless sea had taken was from the pincer by Lu Boyuan and Du Ming earlier. This lead had been earned almost perfectly. But how could the Simsara fans endure the overjoyed expressions on the happy fans? Even if they had nothing to back up their cheers, they weren't going to let themselves be outdone. The noise in the stadium reached a new high. Samsara's fans had been able to overwhelm Happy's fans in the end. However, they were just relying on their numbers advantage. The contribution from each individual couldn't compare to a tenth of a Happy fan. Hurry up and do something. It would be a lie to say that Samsara's fans weren't worried, especially seeing how the opposing fans were so delighted. 
Even if they could overwhelm their opponents in noise, it didn't give them a sense of victory because victory wouldn't be decided by which side shouted louder, but by the players on stage. If their team couldn't beat their opponents then their cheers and shouts were just empty words. Come on, come on, Samsara's fans thought to themselves. But there didn't seem to be any possible turning points right now. Du Ming's moon luring frost had died. Fang Ming was laughing, Song had automatically entered the field, and Lu Boy Wan's chaotic cloudy mountain was hurrying over to convene with him. Protecting the healer was a bigger priority than counter-attacking. Did they need to search for hope on the other side? Trash Room. The conflict between Yishu and Samsara's three players hadn't stopped. There hadn't been any direct clashes, but Yishu being able to escape again and again was enough to astonish everyone. But in return, Yishu had suffered greatly, whether it was himself as a player or his character. His tempo was starting to falter. His control over Lord Grimm was no longer as precise as before. Zhou Zakai, Sun Shang, Zhang Boteo. Any one of these three players had the ability to contend with Yishu one-on-one. -on -one. None of them could be underestimated. However, Yishu need to fight against the three of them by himself. The amount of energy he put in wasn't nearly as simple as three times the amount. This could be seen from the hand speed statistics. Yishu's hand speed averaged 340 APM over all this round. As for the team competition itself, his stats were calculated starting from when Lord Grimm started clashing with Simsara's three players. His hand speed for the team competition averaged 510. 510. For many pro players, this was their limit, but right now, it was Yishu's average. Seeing this number, the viewers couldn't help but gasp in astonishment. But to the pro players watching, they had forgotten to be astonished. This average hand speed of 510 was a form of cruelty. It was cruel to the opponents and cruel to Yishu himself. His opponents were dealing with this hand speed, although to be more accurate, it was more the other way around. Yishu need this hand speed to deal with the pressure that his three opponents were giving him. This cruelty was being undertaken by Yishu alone. Too reckless. Even Han Wenching made a note of Yishu's craziness, and he was always fearless in battle. Zhang Xinjie furrowed his brows, carefully observing the curve given by the data. After all, 510 was an average. His hand speed wasn't constant. There were ups and downs. As a result, Zhang Xinjie tried to look for relatively clear flat areas. He reckoned that Yishu was resting during these flat periods. That was the only way he could maintain an average hand speed of 510. But no, the hand speed curve was extremely messy with huge ups and downs. From this chaotic curve, Yishu's difficulties could be seen clearly. His actions were being forced out by his opponents. If he didn't keep up this hand speed, Lord Grimm would already be a corpse. And from the changes in the curve, Yishu was having more and more trouble holding on. Samsara's three players was aware of this point, so even though they knew that Yishu stalling all three of them was unfavorable for Samsara as a whole, they didn't make any adjustments. When Du Ming's moon luring frost fell and his name turned grey, they even became more decisive with their attacks. This was the price of perseverance. It was only by killing Lord Grimm would they make up for this price. Soon. Lord Grimm still had 52% of his health left. He still had more than half of his health left. However, the three on Samsara could feel Yishu's reaction speed and response slipping. They knew that Yishu was on the verge of defeat. WuxiaWorldAudio.com Yishu's nearing his limits. Huang Shaoshan said gravely, Yu and Zhou didn't make any objections. Sitting in front of them, Wang Jieshi and Tiny Herbs hand speed expert Lu Xiaobi were also silent. Uh, quote. But on the other side, there were people who wanted to say something but were hesitating. Lu Guanning, So Yunhai, Wen Kabei, Ji Yuxi, Zhang Yeli. Team Heavenly Swords had come to watch the match as well.
Even though all of them had powerful and wealthy family backgrounds, in the pro circle, they were the younger generation. Their skill couldn't compete with the top players. But while their seniors had come to the same conclusion, these five disagreed. When Wen Kabe heard Huang Shaoshan say, he's nearing his limit, he couldn't help but say something. But when he saw that no one was paying attention to him, he hesitated and decided against it. What is it? Someone asked. It was Sun Jeping, who had come with them. I don't think this is God Yi Shu's limit. Lu Guanning said. What? Sun Jeping was doubtful. You guys all think this is limit? Wen Kabe had been too afraid to speak up because everyone else had come to a different conclusion than him. It seems like you guys know something? Sun Jeping asked. Uh. The five unheavenly swords looked at one another. We've experienced his hand speed before. Lu Guanning said. Sun Jeping laughed. Yi Shu's hand speed. Hadn't he experienced it nine years ago? At that time, Yi Shu had been at his peak. No matter how unwilling Yi Shu might be or how great he still was, his age was there. Certain things couldn't be decided by pure willpower. That's not what I mean. We saw his hand speed through different means. Lu Guanning saw that Sun Jeping had misunderstood him. They were rookies. How could they dare to talk about experience facing someone as senior as him? Different means. Sun Jeping didn't understand. Piano. Lu Guanning said. What? Sun Jeping was very interested. Piano. Piano. Wen Kabe affirmed. What about it? God Yishu can play it. Are you thinking of someone else? Sun Jeping wasn't the type to waver, but hearing them talk about Yishu playing piano, he was having trouble believing them. Of course not. During last year's All-Star Weekend, Lu Guanning quickly told them about their dinner party that night. The tempo in a piece is fixed, so based on the amount of time that Yi Shu used to finish the piece, we can calculate his hand speed. Playing piano is different than playing glory, but at least for piano, Yi Shu's max hand speed should be. Lu Guanning suddenly stopped at the crucial moment. Dot. How much? Sun Jeping asked. 900. Lu Guanning's voice trembled. He knew the answer beforehand, but he was still scared by it. 48 seconds, a steady 900 APM, and chapter.